Welcome back everybody. I'm Josh Salinger with Bird's Mouth Design Build and we're here at our Zero Energy North Portland ADU. And today really excited to talk to you about a vaulted, high performance, uh, foam free roof assembly. So vaulted roofs are really popular these days for, for good reason because this space, which would typically be the attic, can be used for living space. So it, it allows us to create buildings that have higher ceilings, vaulted ceilings, and and use this space. And some of the issues that come along with that is you can run into issues with condensation and moisture issues in your roof assembly. And so oftentimes that is solved by using plastic foams, whether that's a, a spray foam insulation or rigid foam on the top. But for environmental reasons, we're trying to avoid using these plastic foams. So we came up with a solution that doesn't use any uh, plastic, whether that's foam board or uh, a spray foam underneath it, that allows for full depth insulation, allows for venting, manages that moisture issue while creating a really high performing vaulted roof assembly. And so I'm really excited to show you about how these layers come together and hope that you're able to put this in your quiver and use this in your practice too. Okay, here we are on the top side of this roof assembly and what we've created here is a vented roof assembly. And we've created this vent by installing this membrane down here on top of the rafters and then put some two by fours on the flat on top of those rafters and a block right here. And what this does once we put our plywood over the top of this is creating a, a vented assembly. So the air is able to enter in through here. We've got a closed soffit and there'll be a vent down there. The air will come in enter into here and then travel up through that vent up to the ridge where we've created these uh, notched blocks right here where that air will be able to exit, therefore venting our roof assembly. Okay, so this membrane here has two functions essentially. So what it needs to do is it needs to hold in the insulation. So we're gonna be filling this full of cellulose insulation and this just needs to simply keep it in place. And the other thing that it's doing is allowing any incidental vapor that gets into our roof assembly to diffuse out through this membrane and then get whisked away in the vent chamber up through our notched blocking up there. So this is a highly permeable membrane. We decided to use a Tyvek commercial wrap because it's readily available. It's a little stronger than the regular residential stuff. And it's also more vapor permeable. So we wanted to have something that was really vapor open so that any incidental vapor or moisture that gets into our assembly can easily be diffused through here and then get whisked out. And then the last step is to simply apply our sheathing to the top of this. So our sheathing will get installed onto this, nailed into the two by fours and creating that uh, chamber in here, the top side of that chamber. And then that simply gets nailed on here and to our blocks right here, which kind of creates that structural diaphragm to keep our uh, roof nice and rigid. On top of that plywood, it's uh, like any other building where you're putting your roofing on top of that and lickety split, that's it. Okay, here we are on the underside of our vaulted, vented, foam-free roof assembly, and we're attaching our membrane on the bottom side of the rafters right here. This is a Sega Myrex smart vapor membrane that we're attaching here, and it's got three main functions. The first one is that it's simply just going to hold the insulation that we're going to put into this cavity right here. So we're going to be blowing uh, cellulose insulation in here, so it's just simply keeping it in here like an insulation netting. The second thing that it's doing is it's managing the vapor that gets into our assembly. So it's, it's allowing vapor to get in and get out, but controlling it in a way that doesn't allow for vapor to get built up in that assembly. And then the third uh, function that this thing is doing is it's our continuous air barrier. As you remember from a previous video, we wrapped this my rest, my vest membrane over the top of the top plate here and that continues the air barrier from the outside over to the inside. And then what we need to do is continue this along the bottom side of our rafters, and we simply make this connection by putting the Sega Resan tape right here, and that creates our continuous air barrier. It's something that's really simple to do and extremely effective. We get some really great low blower door scores and numbers by doing this, and it really doesn't take all that long. This membrane here is really important to pay attention to. So it's different than the membrane that we have on the top side of the rafters. So this is a, a smart membrane. So it's got a variable permeability component to it. So it's really important that we use a, a product such as this on the bottom side of the rafters and not use something like a Tyvek or just a typical WRB on the bottom side of the rafters right here.
But here's how this membrane works. So let's imagine a scenario where on the interior of our house here, we've got a relatively high relative humidity. So we've got more moisture in here than we do in our assembly. So that moisture is gonna to wanna to travel through this membrane right here. And this membrane is actually, as it experiences that more relative humidity, it closes down and slows down the amount of moisture that can get through this membrane and then into our assembly. So it's managing the amount of moisture that gets in. Now, once the moisture or the humidity gets in here, it experiences this Tyvek right here, which has a really high permeability and it allows it to diffuse and then go out the vent chamber out the top. Um, so it really pr provides that drying through this membrane without experiencing any condensation in here. The alternative scenario is one where it's actually drier and has a lower relative humidity on the inside of the living space here. And when that's the case, there's gonna be more moisture or uh, humidity inside of our assembly, and it's gonna to wanna to go from high to low. So it's gonna travel through this membrane and allow this to diffuse the vapor to the inside and dry to the inside. The cool thing about this membrane is because it's got that variable permeability, as it experiences a drier scenario here, it's actually gonna open up more and allow that moisture to travel quick, more quickly through this membrane and dry out quicker to the inside. Okay, the last step is to just install some uh, two by fours perpendicular to our rafters here. And this is gonna run every 24 inches on center here across the entire assembly. And the point of this is twofold. One is to simply just hold this membrane in as we fill it full of insulation so that the membrane doesn't pop free. And the other great benefit to this is that it creates a service cavity for us to run wires or any electrical or put in some shallow J boxes for lighting up here without puncturing our air barrier. And then to finish it off, you simply just are installing your drywall to these two by fours on the flat right here. Yeah, I really like this assembly because I really believe that it is uh, really durable. It manages vapor in this assembly and it, it's allowed to dry to the inside and to the outside. That vent chamber allows any moisture to be able to get whisked away. It allows for a really great insulation, 12 inches of insulation in here, and a really good airtight layer. So it's a really high performing assembly. And another great part about this too is that it's just really easy to build. We're using a lot of our same methods and tools. We're not having to come up with any weird origami or anything that's really out of the order or difficult. So it makes it a really constructible, easy thing that doesn't take a lot of extra time that, that I really enjoy. And we'll be using this on a lot of our projects from here on out. So I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time.